Hi guys, uh, welcome to Vibrant Source. It's Tuesday and you know it's Vibrant Source and I'm so glad to be here today, guys. And clearly, I'm alone. <laughs> today I'm alone. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I gotta do this, you know. So today I've decided to do it a little bit different from how we always do it. And um, I have decided to share with you a story that uh, I have learned for the past let me say three weeks and I know that it's not just a story but it's a lesson that I've learned and I hope that by the end of this video someone will also learn something out of it and I'm so excited to share my story with you and I'm sharing this because I have passed that stage of feeling um, a little bit uh, weird about what was happening um, and that is the reason I decided to share with you guys so stay tuned guys yes I'm glad you're back and if, if you've not subscribed to Vibrant Source by the way, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe. Click down below. But click down below and subscribe so that you can get more videos from Vibrant Source. And I am so excited that I already have some fans who always question and ask anytime I don't post a video. So that is really encouraging and it keeps us like going. It keeps us pushing forward, you know. And I'm so excited to do this for you guys. I'm so excited that at the end of it all, probably someone will learn something out of it. So yeah, let me, let me just go into it. I stop talking a lot. So guys, um, as I said, like I have something that uh, was going in my was going on in my life for the past three, let me say three months, and uh, things were not falling into place. Like you know the way you always plan to do something, and then it doesn't work as uh, you expected. Like for example, it's towards the end of the year, yeah, and you look back and go back to the drawing board and see, okay, this is what I really wanted to do this year, this year I wanted to do this thing, this thing, but you get to some po you get to a point in life where you feel like you have not accomplished anything that you wanted to accomplish by the time the year ends and you keep on asking yourself Kwani, she they go happy as in is it only me who sets resolutions and then it doesn't come to pass or what is happening so clearly that is what has, uh, happened to me like three months ago i kept on thinking like things that i had planned to do i had not done it and things were not working the way i wanted it to work things were not going on well as i say and you know people like us uh, who are sanguines who always talk who are who are always happy it is hard to know when you are in that point in your life where you are down like because every time when you're, you are around people you're okay you are excited and a person like me every time i'm around people i'm excited when i'm alone in my house i watch a movie or a series you get so i i, I watch a series i go to bed i sleep and then I wake up in the morning, I go meet people, I come in the evening, watch a series, sleep. So that is the circle of my life. And it got to a point where I felt um, I lost my sense of belonging to some extent. Like I felt like I am no longer worth, I'm no longer, the high self-esteem that I had, had disappeared all of a sudden. And that made me like settle for anything like if for example i get a weird deal i just set, settle for it because you know what as in i'm done i'm just leaving i want to take one day at a time and move forward and for me i felt like i'm not that kind of person those people who know me from before those people who are uh, with schooled together they clearly know the strong woman i am eh? the strong woman tawarari is that a you know but at that point uh three months ago i felt like I'm down. I'm completely crushed. There's nothing that will uplift me. I'm like, oh my God, as in, why am I not myself? I wake up in the morning. I don't have that energy. I don't have that energy to, if someone tells me something, you know what? I'm like, oh, you know, missing a time you argue. It's okay. Let it be like that, you know? And that is not me. I was raised by my mom to be a strong woman. And I was raised by my mom to always voice, um, if, if anything happens, I always speak up and I speak my mind. And that is how I've, I've been raised. But to some point for the past three months, that was gone, completely gone. I felt like I'm just alone. I felt like I'm just leaving. I felt like, okay, taking one day at a time and I'm just surviving, like I'm just here. Oh, okay, siku imekuja, imesha, and I'm gone. Siku imekuja, imesha, and I'm gone. And uh, 
as, as I said earlier, like that, that thing made me settle for less. Not only when it comes to deals, when it comes to compromising myself and not really uh, appreciating who I am and not really taking into consideration what I am capable of as Tawarhar. And when, 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 when I met, go met my, I, 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 went, I met my friend who knows me better. She's, she's a good friend of mine and uh, when, 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 when you're a sanguine, I don't know if it happens to everyone who is a sanguine, but you feel like um, you really have to talk to someone sometimes. We always talk to people anyway. A sanguine we don't like hard anything, we speak up. That's why I'm even doing this. <laughs> That's why I'm even doing this now because I'm pretty sure an introvert cannot do something like this because they're like keeping it to themselves. But for me, I like speaking, speaking up. Eh? I like speaking and telling people what has been happening. So I went to my friend's place and uh, I was not okay as usual. I'm not, I was not as active as I was supposed to be or I can just make a joke and not laugh. You know, like not laughing to my own jokes, imagine. So my friend asked me, Kwani, what is wrong? And I felt so nice when she asked me that. And that is also a lesson that I, la that I learned. Every time you feel like someone is not okay, don't just brush, brush it aside. Like just take that initiative of asking, Kwani, what is up? You know, because maybe that person wants to speak or say something, but they are scared of starting it. They don't even know how they want, they can start a conversation. But like for me, like I didn't want to tell just anyone what I was going through. But when my friend asked me that question, Connie, what is up with you? I really felt, oh my God, thank you, you have asked that question. And I started yapping. I talked, guys. I talked, I talked, I talked. And that, is, that is the time I realized that I've been carrying too much baggage too much baggage on my shoulders and I didn't know that I was carrying it. I was just taking one day at a time as usual. I was just being me, but I was suffering deep inside, you know. And when I talked to my friend and I cried and at the end of it all, you know, she's a very good listener, by the way. She just looked at me and like, that's a way, way, guy. You can hear you tell me that's idea, you know. But it was really nice because I was given that platform to talk. I was given that avenue to raise my concerns and to raise my issue and things like that. And I remember what she told me at the end of it all is like, that is not you, Tawarar. You cannot settle for less. You know, like you cannot just settle. You always need to know your worth. And that has kept me thinking, you know, after, after talking to her, of course, I really felt nice. You know, when they say like when you have a problem, problem shared is half solved. I think something like that. I don't know how outside that says go. But that is the time I realized like when you share a problem with people, it's kind of gone. Like, of course, I just sort like evil completely, but you feel like, you know what, your baggage may talk. At least I'm not carrying it alone. So, yeah, that is what happened. And I shared with her. And um, I felt really, really, really nice after that. And I went back and um, I went for a workshop. Those people who follow me on uh, Facebook, they see like they saw like I posted so many pictures when, while I was in the workshop. And I think that was also a clear, a, an amazing opportunity for me to realize exactly or to pump myself back to the person I am. And I went there with an open mind and I knew like, okay, your baggage name Likwanayo Imetoka. So I am now a new person. Let me try this. So I went there and did my best. As in, I tried my level best to be me. When I was supposed to talk, I talked. When I was supposed to do something, I did. And I felt really nice. I felt like Tawarar is back. I felt like my energy is back. I felt like, seriously, why was I even settling for less? Guys, why was I even settling for less? Uh, after the workshop that we had, I now realized that I am back to being me. And I went back and I remember those, again, those people who follow me on Facebook. I'm not, I'm, I'm a Facebook person, imagine. Guy, I'll try Instagram and Twitter sometimes, but Facebook is my thing. I like Facebook. So I went and posted something on Facebook uh, which said, like, you should always be careful uh, uh, and know your worth and know what you're capable of because there are some people outside there who are ready and willing to use those people who are not aware of what they're capable of and that is the lesson i want you to take by the way don't ever settle for less guys don't ever just settle for less for the sake of settling be it relationship be it work be it anything you should never settle for less because the moment you do settle for less 
the people who are using you out there, they won't even care. After they are done with you or after they know like, who you, dampatia to this deal, she will take it. I'm a who you, I will just call her in this relationship because I know she is weak, she'll come and we'll move on. You know, you should never, never settle for less. You should know your worth. You should know exactly what you want in life. You should know what you're capable of so that in case of anything, in case you're given a deal, you can even stand and say, you know what, I cannot take that deal. Because that is not what I can bring on the table. I know I can bring a little bit more. And when you bring a little bit more on the table, then you deserve more. You get? Someone can just not lower you down because of your desperation at that moment. Someone cannot just lower you down because of you're not, uh, you don't have any power at that time. Just know your worth. And this goes to young people out there. Like, for example, if you're looking for a job, and then someone comes and tells you, uh, you know what, yeah, just come and work for me, we will pay you later, you know, something like that. And then you're like, okay, sour, because I really want to work, I really don't want to stay at home, you know, I'll just go do whatever. But is that, seriously, it's just like lowering yourself to go do the lowest Job. I'm not saying like you should, oh, everyone starts from somewhere, just get me right, everyone starts from somewhere. But any time in life when you know what you're capable of, when you know what you're supposed to do, then you, it will be easier for you to just make a decision and not just, okay, I'll just come because I have to come, I have to not stay in the house and just be there, you know. That is one thing that I learned and I hope that you will always, you will also go with that lesson that Every time you need to be very careful, know what you're capable of because there are so many people out there who are ready to use those people who are not aware of their worth. Thank you guys. I hope you have learned something out of it. I hope uh, I've not just talked alone. And uh, that's what I've learned for the past. And I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to keep forging. And every time you feel like you have to talk to someone, talk to someone. Talk to someone. It really helps. Yeah, and that's why we created this avenue of vibrant soil, so that in case you have anything to talk about, and you don't want to talk to someone you really know, or your friends, or your feel, you can talk to God, you can talk to Allah, you can talk to, like, someone you feel like, Amma, you can just go in your room and talk to yourself, or you can talk to vibrant souls. I'm willing to listen. Like, I just sit and listen to your problems. Yeah, so I'm ending on that note today. Like, I don't want to end it in, like, <laughs> so bad. But I hope you've learned something. I hope you will go with that lesson. And the lesson is never, never, never settle for less. Know your worth so that people out there don't just use you because you don't know what you're capable of. Yeah. Bye, guys.